Hey guys, Yvonne here, and in this video, I want to show you how to direct link affiliate products on Microsoft or Bing Ads in 2022 completely for free. So you don't have to use any third party tracking tool to direct link, although I do strongly suggest that you do use it so that you can track. But I want to show you how to do this for free if you don't have such a tracker or you can't afford it or you're just starting out and so on. So we're going to use a sample campaign here. I already assume that you know how to create a campaign based on the other videos that I created. Check them out. I'll put it in the description. Well, for the purpose of this video, we'll just use this campaign here, Exit Pure, which is on pause. And we're going to click on ads. And I just want to show you the ads here and where you're going to put what link to direct link. All right. So if you want to direct link this, what do you do? What link do you put where? So I'm going to quickly delete that. I'm going to click save. And so let's imagine this is your ad, right? So you have your link here, you have, um, you know, your just your description, everything here. So what do you do? So let's go with step by step. So step one, uh, it's by the way, this product. So the first thing you're going to do is if you have your affiliate link, which is this one, right? This is our affiliate link, we're going to click on it. And the first thing you're going to do is paste your affiliate link in the bar and go there. And then what you want to do is take the whole thing here, take everything that you have here, copy it and paste it here, which is as you can see what I did here. So we're going to delete it again. We're going to repaste it. And so that's what we are doing, right? Is we are taking this final URL, take the final URL that somebody will land on your visitors, what they see here at the top and put it here. All right. So that's step one is adding the final URL. Now, step two is scrolling down here to the bottom, add URL options. And you're going to put your affiliate link here. All right. So this is going to work regardless of what product you're using, regardless of what network you're using, any affiliate product that you're using, you will be able to just add here and it's going to track. All right. So we're going to come back here to our account. Where was our link? It was this one. So now we can go ahead and we can copy it. We can come back here and we can just paste the link here. And then we're going to scroll down. You could hit test if you want and see if it works. It does say landing page found. It says everything here is successful and you can go ahead and hit save. If you do see certain errors when you hit save. So if you hit save and you see, or if you hit test and it gives you some errors, take a look at the video that I'll post in the description, giving you reasons for why it, you might see errors here. Okay. But generally if you did it this way, it should go through, it should say approved and then you can hit save. And then that's how it's going to work guys. So when you click on this link here, it's going to take you to this link. Now on Microsoft ads, if this ad actually goes live and you see this ad on bing.com, if somebody clicks on that link, they will actually be taken to this page through your affiliate link. And that's how it's going to be right. So on bing.com, they're actually going to be clicking on this link and that is how they'll land on this page and you will be getting credit because you can't just give people this link because you will not get credit. Even though it says hop equals your affiliate ID, I guarantee you, you will not get credit. It has to go through your specific affiliate link for you to get credit. So make sure that if you do want to direct link, if you're just starting out, you're a complete beginner and you want to, you know, get a lay of the land, you do what I show you. So put the final URL here, step one, click on your affiliate link and whatever URL you see here. And then step two, go to the bottom and add your affiliate link here in the tracking template field. Okay. Now, again, I do suggest that you use a third party tracking tool so you can actually track and see what works, what doesn't. However, this is a way for you to do it if you don't have such a third party tool. And that is it. I hope you guys found value in this video. I will see you in the next one.